goes back up to the highest position along with your straight up tech lever. So if you fiddle with your machine and experiment and try and find these various settings from 1 to 9 or various parts rather from 1 to 9, kindly take us a picky of your machine and we will mark these for you and then you can get cracking. Now I will show you that you can run your machine without any thread with just paper so that you can practice using the basics. So you will always have the bulk of your sewing to the left of your machine so I'm going to place the paper under the machine press a foot and I will then gently start sewing by putting my foot on my machine's pedal and your machine is calibrated to have a wide range of speed on the pedal depending on how much pressure you put with your foot. So always try and sew with a light sole shoe. I like to sew barefoot. Um, if you're at home you can wear a sock even, it's really comfortable that way. But you can see I don't even have to use my hands because the machine is taking the paper and feeding it. This machine is absolutely my favorite. It is in absolutely mint condition even though it's quite a old machine. This is a fantastic machine by Bernina, the 1130, and there are people who will go to great lengths to get their hands on these machines. As you can see, I can go quite fast, and I can go very slowly, and your job is to just let gently steer so that your sewing happens where you want it. So in this particular case, I was just demonstrating, but ideally you would stay on your line. And if you look at this against the light, you'll see the needle has perforated the paper and the perforations are perfectly spaced. If they get closer or farther apart, that means you are interfering with your machine's functioning. You don't want to push or pull against your machine feeding the paper away from you. Because if you're pushing or pulling, you'll see that the perforations will get closer or farther apart. And with time, that will put a lot of strain on your machine's motor, which will inevitably result in you spending additional money on a service. So you want to be gentle with your machine, never pull or push against what the machine is doing, and you'll, you'll get used to it sooner or later. So in your kit, you will see you have papers like this. We call them sewing papers. We usually practice on these so that you can get good hand-eye coordination skills. And you want to use all of the lines and try your best to keep your needle perforating the line exactly in the middle and you will notice on your presser foot which is this part here your presser foot has a little mark in the middle and that also indicates where your needle would be landing under normal circumstances so when you're practicing you could put the foot down and you can see the little line on your presser foot perfectly corresponds to the line that you're intending to sew on Ideally, you do not want to look at the needle because it's a little bit too late for you to correct when the needle is already making a perforation. So ideally, you want to focus two inches or five centimeters in front of your machine while you're steering and anticipating anything that might be wrong or skew. So we hope you will enjoy your first lesson and send us some feedback Show us pictures of how you did with your first sewing paper exercise. And remember, whenever you stop, turn your hand wheel towards you so that your thread of tape lever is at the maximum height. These are good habits to cultivate from the start. That way you will never get thread jamming. And you will also have good habits no matter what machine you sew on. So that concludes our first lesson. Happy sewing and have so much fun.